Sometimes people try to understand what was it like to be a common soldier in the Civil War. I think this is not a good way to come at understanding Civil War soldiers because there is not a single Civil War soldier's experience. It all depended on where you were and what you did. For example, there's been a good deal of work on the traumatic aftershocks of being a soldier in the Civil War, and there are generalizations made about the impact of the war on soldiers. But in fact, many soldiers saw almost no combat, so it doesn't make sense that they would be suffering from those kinds of disorders after the war. If you were on occupation duty in Louisiana, you would have very different things to deal with and things to overcome than if you were in the Army of the Potomac. You probably would deal more with the friction between United States armies and a slaveholding society that created large populations of black refugees. If you're in the Army of the Potomac, you have a much greater chance of seeing sustained combat than in any other United States Army. 19 of the 20 regiments with the highest casualties in the United States forces were in the Army of the Potomac. 10 of the 15 with the heaviest casualties in the Confederate Army were in the Army of Northern Virginia. And what you saw, of course, would dictate what your experience as a soldier was. There's some universal experiences, of course, but in other ways, I don't think it even gets us very far to compare a soldier who saw a great deal of combat and someone who almost literally never fired his musket but dealt with a range of situations that nonetheless were stressful.